What did you go out into the wilderness to see? St. Augustine has a profound meditation on the word and the voice, indicating how, even between human beings, the thought is able to be transmitted from one soul to another by the flatus voices, which is the voice, the sound. We know now how sounds pass. It would seem that molecules move each other, hence they get more and more faint as they go further from the source. But the sound is therefore a physical passage of variation. It begins in the mind of the thinker, is transformed through the wisdom of God into these waves via the whole nervous system, for the brain commands the whole movement of the nervous system to form things happening in the tongue. And the tongue forms shapes and patterns of movement in the air. It is a wondrous system, even now magnified. The waves can go then not just into another ear, but through also the waves that we have managed to capt and capture through modern technology. And the word can be heard again after it has been pronounced. These are all skills given by God and we use them and harness them and we communicate thought. Sometimes a person communicates not only thought but also warmth. Another person might communicate a bad atmosphere and we're glad to get away. As we go through life we give off these, as it were, human graces. It is important to be aware of that and not to give off bad vibes, hurting molecules, sounds that are sharp and wound the heart and stay in the mind leaving bad experiences to be relived. Grace builds on nature, but does not destroy it, nor, by the way, does it in any way necessarily make up for all that might be lacking in the human. For instance, in the case of a person who is consecrated to the service of the Lord. Humanly speaking, if a person is as he is, with his skills or lack of skills, that is not miraculously changed. So a person has his own humanity. If it is dysfunctional, he is going to be handicapped. If he is not intelligent, he is going to be handicapped. But if he has also human graces and gifts, he is going to be helped. And the Spirit of God is going to be more free to do good through him. For all his being emits God without resistance. Mutatis mutandis, that applies to all souls. We need in Advent to prepare the way. There's no point in preparing the trimmings during Advent if the essential is not done. The Lord is feasted at Christmas, not the Christmas tree. And the true work in Advent is in the desert of prayer to prepare our hearts. And the Lord wants to come to a still heart. 
is counterproductive. If for the case, for the sake of the Lord, we are doing many, many external preparations but not being still because we're waking up all that is linked with the feast, making room for the trimmings at the expense of the true hosting. But then the preparation happens on the level of the coming. We wait in patience as the first inclination of the soul is for both the work of grace in this world and its flowering in the next. St. James refers to this patient work. And so it is that, as it were, our insurance policy must be always updated and fully paid up, for we have no idea when that coming will be. We wait in patience until he comes or until he calls, for at the moment of his calling it is the end, it is his coming, it is the end of the world for the soul. This hit me very strongly only yesterday when we sent back to Jesus the gift that had given us for a short time. I heard that they had found her dead, probably from heart failure, with the rosary beads in her hand. And one friend commented, it was a passport. It is important not to presume that we have tomorrow, for tomorrow never comes. And if today we are ready, then the Lord can come whenever he wants, for he is Lord. And if we love him, why would we not wish to be with him today? He knows better than we do when it is the right time to knock. He sometimes takes us when it is the best possible time, knowing what might happen later on. We do not know. We do not ask questions. The Lord has given. The Lord has taken away. All we can say is, Come, Lord Jesus.